everybody welcome back to my youtube channel welcome to today's video so i have been asked by so many people to do a pack with me vlog so we are actually due to fly on holiday tomorrow, tomorrow from when i'm filming this um it's going to be penelope's first holiday um i've got most of the kids bits sorted i haven't yet packed it um so i'm going to do a pack with me vlog i'm just going to put penny on the floor because oh my goodness she weighs a ton she weighs a ton so i've got darcy with me we're actually in darcy's bedroom um i'm going to put to the camera Ow. just hit oh you okay I'm just gonna pop you here so I've got my hands free so we're in Darcy's bedroom because um, if you're new to my channel we're actually um, gonna be starting our loft conversion when we get back so there is quite a lot of bits and pieces on my landing so we're quite short for space so I thought we'd do it in my daughter's room Darcy here so I've got all of her bits laid out um, I'm just gonna bring all this stuff in then I'm gonna bring Penny's stuff in and what I'm hoping because it's only um, myself my husband Tom Darcy, Ollie, my son, and Penny going. We don't obviously have any other help. Usually we go with like my parents um, who can help us with the luggage, but it's just us. So I'm thinking we are only going for a week. So I think that the kids stuff will go in one suitcase because when we've got them out of the loft, they are, hello Clifford. They are massive, the cases. So I'm thinking, looking around that, they will all go. No, that's a medium one. I'm gonna get one of the, no, that's a medium one. What? Yeah, they're the medium ones, so I'm going to get the bigger one. So I'm thinking that we can get the kids' stuff all in one. Um, and then obviously it's less stuff for us to try and lug around when we get the other side. So um, I'm going to get the Penny's stuff in here and Olive's stuff. And then I'll come back on, show you how I've organised it and what I've done to prepare. Because let me tell you, packing for five is just a whole new ball game. Um, we haven't been abroad in four years um so as a family uh the last time we went away was in 2018 so it feels like a lifetime ago so yeah we're all excited aren't we penny girl you're gonna go on an airplane say yes i can go on the airplane for the first time that <laughs> face um yeah so let me go and get my other bits and then i'll pop back on okay so this looks like chaos but it's organized chaos so this is Darcy's, like I said, so we've got the shoes she wants to take, so she's literally just taking flip, are you sure you just want one pair for the pool? Oh uh, yeah. You don't want to take your slides or anything like that? No. no. Um, a hat, this is all of her swimwear, she's actually got all of her swimwear in here, her beach poncho, pyjamas, underwear, deodorant day outfits evening outfits okay and then ollie's is swimwear hat towel goggles sunglasses his shoes he's wearing his trainers over um his armbands and then he's got day outfits here evening outfits pajamas and then pennies so i think hers looks like the most so I think I'm going to take this out of the box, but this is the swimming float we went with. I'll try and link it below. I got it off of Amazon, but it lasts from three months to 72. So basically up until she's three years old and it has the sun canopy, which you'll need because it's going to be hot. Um, then we've got swimming nappies. I do just need to bring her normal nappies in, but I think I'm going to pop them in our carry-on luggage. So this is her day outfits, evening outfits. Um, I've just got a little towel that I can take to the pool and all of her swimwear. Um, she's got a couple of sun safe suits. And then we've got some muslin cloths, um, socks, a pack of bibs and two large muslin so I can use as a sheet or I can pop over the buggy if she's napping. And then this is all of her sleep suits and vests. So um, I'm going to take two in the carry-on, but this is just for us to pack for when we're over there. So I've got my little helper who's going to help me and we're going to see. Oh, and she's just got a new addition. So we picked this up in H&M. It's really cute. Um, and she's got them. They all look really nice with this, won't it? Yeah, I've got this. She's got these. These are new. Because, um... I'm not a fan of my sun safe suit, so I'm gonna take I'm gonna put this in the pool and it just says I'm trying to my mind. Yeah, so we're gonna 
set you up and then we're gonna see how much so this is the case i've just propped on her bed it doesn't look too big here but it literally has taken up over half of her bed so it is really and large my bed's pretty big yeah so i think um we should be able to get most of the bits and pieces in there and then i need to figure out what i'm taking because at this moment in time i haven't packed for myself um I'll show you separately what I'm doing for Penny in terms of her steriliser. I've got a cold water Milton steriliser and I'm going to fill that up, um, like the actual bucket side of it, because it's just basically a bucket. I'm going to fill that with like her food pouches that I've got for her, but we're going to get this in the case now and then see what room we've got left after. I'm buzzing, let's drink up, you deaf look like big fun, come on, let's get it on, like that one fin gay song, I'm stunning, you love it, come on, give me something, I know that you want it, come on, give me something. The night is young and so are we, so maybe you should leave with me, the night is young and so are we. I should say so um this hopefully is the first of a couple of travel vlogs i'm hoping to do it's actually <gasps> hello hello penny slept through lunch so i'm giving her lunch in the room so i'm going to let me set her up one second let me open her little pouch and then i'll come back on okay so it's actually day two for us. So I didn't, oh, you're gonna tip backwards, silly Billy. I didn't come on and vlog yesterday because we had a bit of a travel day from hell. Um, yeah. I tried not to like, give myself a bit of a breakdown, but um, I was close. So basically our flight was scheduled to leave at 6.25 p.m. So we left our house just after 2 p.m. to give us enough time because I've seen like um obviously doing bag drop etc has been really really busy we checked in online so all we need to do was bag drop um so yeah we got to the airport and we waited for an hour and a half in bag drop um and saw that our flight was delayed until 9 p.m. so it didn't they didn't give us a reason why they just said delayed until 9 p.m. boarding will be boarding info available at 8 p.m. so we waited until 8 p.m nothing it got to 8 30 or 8 20 and it said um go to gate 15 or whatever gate they were sending us from um so then we went to that gate and we didn't actually take off until 10 p.m so we ended up then sitting they did board us really quickly um but we were then sat on the plane for another half an hour penny was crying she usually goes to bed about half a seven so i was like panicking a little bit that she was not gonna settle on the flight and i was like please please just sleep but then as soon as we got up into the air she slept for the whole flight didn't you did you sleep for the whole flight yes you did you were such a good girl so she slept in my arms so um my poor arm went numb several times i had to 
do the whole finger wiggle to get the blood circulating again. Um, Ollie didn't sleep that much, he was really uncomfortable, so, and he was overtired. So then by the time we landed, because Cypress are two hours ahead, by the time we landed, our bags were first off, but the buggy took ages. We actually got to our hotel at 5.30 in the morning. Um, and then by the time we got to our room, because we then, mum, 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 we then were last in the queue to check into our room. Even though I checked in online, I obviously had to wait to at reception to get our key. We got to our room at about 6 a.m. in the morning. So we decided there was no point in going to bed. Um, and we just basically waited up for breakfast, um, which opened at seven. I'm gonna put you here because my arms are going dead. Yeah, we basically waited for breakfast, which opened at 7 a.m. So I just unpacked the cases. But I'm gonna give you a bit of a room tour in a second. Um, excuse the state of the room, obviously this is day two. So it now doesn't look as beautiful as when we first walked in. But when I booked this um, holiday, there was nothing for, for me to upgrade the room to because we've been to this hotel before. I knew I wanted to be somewhere around the pool rather than in the main building because it's a little, it's not a horrendous walk, but um, it is just easier to be by the pool. So I emailed the hotel and said, is there any chance I'm willing to pay um, if you've got any rooms? Because I know they hold some directly. Um, and they said, we can't guarantee it. We are fully booked. So we'll put, put a note on file. And then I was, no. Uh, manifested the whole time that I'm gonna get to check in and they're just gonna walk me to a pool view room. And they did, so you need to all start manifesting because it really does work. This is like a couple of things now that has happened that I've manifested. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to come and say hello. I'm gonna finish giving Penny her little pouch. I brought with me a few of these in case, um, obviously our schedule's all over the place at the minute. So I did bring enough for um, like some every day in case she misses lunch. Um, last night she was fine, she had her tea in the restaurant with us, but she slept through lunch, didn't you? You slept through lunch because you tired. Yeah, he said hi yeah. So we'll feed Pen her lunch and then I'm gonna give you a room tour. <gasps> you say hi yeah. Say hi yeah. Ready, like mummy, ready? Hi yeah. <laughs> hi yeah. Hiya, good girl. Okay, so she's had her lunch now. She's just having one of her crisps. <laughs> um, random numbers, even when you're on holiday. So, like I said, excuse the state of the room because um, five people in one room is uh, crazy. So, I'll spin the camera in. So, this is the entrance space. This is obviously the door. So, if I come up here and then spin around this way so this is our wardrobe super cute when you pop your hand in it all lights up um and then we've got more storage here um and then we've got a little station here this is where i've been making her bottles with the kettle um warming her food up in her little hot water flask i've got her little bits and pieces in here some pouches and obviously some finger food for her um, I did bring some breakfast as well for her, just some porridge. Um, not to have every day, but in case she misses breakfast and sleeps in, which happened today. Um, and yeah, just her formula milk. And in this bag here, I did bring some pre-made bottles, which I'm going to keep quite a few for the airport on the way home. Our luggage is empty, but there's nowhere else to store it. So kind of just excuse that setup here. And then this is obviously mine and Tom's bed. Penny's travel cot. Everything's really cool because it's all like digital, so you can call the maid, but do not disturb on. Obviously, your air conditioning. You've got really cute little lights there, which is handy for the evening, obviously, because the kids go to bed um, before we do. Um, she is fine on here, guys. She's not yet crawling, so she won't go anywhere. This bed, it might not look it, but it is huge. Um, so, like I said, this is Penny's, so we put her in here um, to play with her toys as well. And then this is the fan I got off Amazon. I think I've shared this before. When I'm home, I'm gonna do like a travel essential, so things that I found have worked really well um, for holiday. So yeah, it just charges up here on USB. And I've also got, oh, I think it's in her buggy. I'll show you that in a second, but I've got a portable sign machine. Um, so this is just a mess of a dressing table area. Hi, braving it in the swimsuit and my Primark sarong. And then these doors do actually shut so we can um, obviously close the kids off at night so we don't disturb them. Um, they shut fully, but you get the idea. So if I come back, you can see it just really separates the room. And then this is where Darcy and Ollie are 
staying so this is Doris's bed that I did make this morning the maid um, we told her not to worry today because um, we slept in because of all the delays with travel um, and Ollis side so he's got his snacks so I'm making stuff at home and this is how close we are to the pool so those are where you see those umbrellas there there are some beds and these are really cool because although I can see out really clearly um, nobody can see in because the glass is all mirrored and they left us a little fruit selection here and some wine I think because it's our second time coming which was really really lovely um so yeah that is our room they do do bigger rooms I'll leave the details of what hotel we're staying in like I said this is our second time here um and we 100% recommend it um they do do suites here but they weren't available for us to book um so that would be like you'd have a separate bedroom you can even get two bedroom suites so yeah I'm gonna what up, baby so I am going to do some more vlogging here and there. So um, what I might do is I might include, because I did start to do um, some packing, um, but I didn't finish to do a, just a separate pack with me. So I'll see what footage I've got. You might have seen that before we've got into this bit. But yeah, we're on day two now. Um, look at her, she's so close to crawling, but she's just not mastered it. You've not mastered it yet, have you, darling? <gasps> And do you love the swimming pool? I will show you her in the swimming pool. She fell asleep earlier. Didn't you? You fell asleep earlier in it. Yeah. <laughs> so if you're wondering why the other Darcy and Ollie are and Tom, they're in the pool just outside of our door here. So I just stayed behind to give Penny her lunch. So yeah, I will show you them in a little bit. <gasps> Should we go and find Daddy? <laughs> and Sissy and Brad? <laughs> yeah, shall we? Shall we? Yeah. <laughs> Dancing on, give it to me, baby. 